Hello, hello everyone. This is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I'm in my Cards by Christine studio and I am so excited to be here with you tonight. It is Happy Monday. It is officially the start of the work week and we're back at it, right? <laughs> back for another week. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's like the week's they seem to go fast, but then the weekends even go faster. So, so crazy. So I'm just going to pull up my Facebook feed here so I can follow your comments as long as they are coming in and we'll get going. I have a quick, easy card for you tonight and Everyone. I think you're going to love it. So I got that good. Hey, Katie. Hi, Arliss. Jean's watching already. Yay. So excited to see you girls here live with me. So fun. The sun is shining. <laughs> it's the little things that make me happy. Hi, Jennifer. Arla says she loves my videos. So hopefully I give you girls a little burst of energy tonight. I know it's already six o'clock. It's after six o'clock and I have some high ambitions after I'm done with this card. I want to st <laughs> I want to pressure wash the side of my house. Don't ask me if I'm crazy or what, but I think crazy is a good word for me. Hi Rhonda, hi Angie, thanks for joining. Peggy's here too. Good to see you girls. I'm so excited. Jay's in the house. Yay! Woohoo! So, yeah. So, ah uh, I put it off and I put it off and I put it up. I, I was going to work on it Saturday. I was going to work on it Sunday. And then I thought, well, maybe after it's done raining today, it'll soften up all the stone. I have this stone veneer on my house. It's not even stone. I learned that what is on the side of my house is actually stucco and it's imprinted to make it look like stone veneer. So yeah, so it rained all day. Well, not all day. It probably started around 11 here and it finished maybe two hours ago. And now the sun's out. So I thought, oh, okay, let's do a little live make a card, and then I might have an hour of daylight to burn, and I'm just gonna test out the pressure washer just to see once how it works. If it's fun, I'll keep going, and if it's not, I'll be like, hmm, I'll save that for another day. Hi, Dawn, hi, Pam, thanks for joining. So that's what I am trying to work my courage up to do. I pressure washed my whole garden, or um, my fence outside, uh, maybe two years ago, and it was kind of fun, actually. Like, you take the hose and you go up and down like this, and the black stuff flies all off, and um, yeah, it was really grimy. It was 10 years old, so it really needed it, and so my goal with pressure washing the side of the house is that I can spray a nice coat on it because I plan to leave that stone veneer exposed in the mudroom because it's such a pretty a pretty imprint on it and it's very natural looking. So I don't want to cover that up, especially when um, this whole stucco covering thing is, the guy told me it was something that was done probably 50 years ago and it is a lost art. People don't really do it anymore. So the last thing I want to do is cover it up with drywall. So, okay, thanks for the good luck, Angela. I, I really need that. So I think I need more motivation than anything. So when we're all done today, girls, Say, go for it, go for it, go do it, go get it, go get it done, make it happen. <laughs> so that's what I'm hoping for. So, and then the other thing is, so, so exciting, girls. My bank emailed me today and I got my appraisal back on my house and it was a, a little bit higher than I was hoping for. So, yay, I have money to make my project happen. <laughs> so that's good. So, yes. Um, I am going to find out tomorrow like what the interest rates are and what a 15, 20, and a 30-year loan are all about because I have to refinance what I owe on my existing house to what I want to borrow. So, yes. Yeah, so Jennifer says, by a true craftsman. So, apparently, that whole stucco thing was a, a popular thing back in the day, and I learned that my house was built in 1948. So, my house is like 70 years old and it's the oldest house in the neighborhood and this i feel special now knowing that my house is so old and there's such a special siding on it <laughs> so i feel like oh i'm gonna tyler had to make fun of me he's like yeah leave it to you you live in a stamped house you're the stamping lady and you live in a stamped house what are the odds <laughs> so yeah so isn't that good we, we we're here in a stamped house <laughs> and we're a bunch of stampers so okay so cool 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 
So I found a card kit that I actually did for July of last year. You girls, I found three cards from my July card classes last year. And so we're gonna be making a card using the Dino Roar set. Um, hang on, I have my catalog right here and I gotta grab it, it's on my floor. So I remember it was on page 99 maybe? Question mark? Yes, ha ha. I, I had just looked it up a little bit ago. So, um, so yes, we're gonna be using the Dino Roar Suite and we're making a card. So some of you may have seen this. I know Rhonda, you've made this card already. I'm curious if you still have it or if you gave it out. Uh, we made this back in July, part of the monthly cards, and it was along with a classic garage card and something else. I'm wondering if I can see it over on my pile over there. Oh, we did Daisy Delight and Daisy Lane. So I found, so that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to do a, a come sail away card. We're going to do the swap card showcase tomorrow night. We're going to make a Daisy Lane card and we're going to make a classic garage. So we have our whole week set. So exciting. So after we're done with the card here, I also have a little prize to give away. I saw on my table, I had a card left. I have this card that we made, I don't know, like two Fridays ago with the bird ballad and I needed to have a winner drawn for that. So I'm going to announce that. So Dawn says, I know a great bank you can check out for a mortgage. So I know, <laughs> um, you, it's probably where you work, but I uh, I, uh, I have had my loan and I've been a, a customer of what well, was American Bank of Fond du Lac, but I actually bank with National Exchange Bank. And so I'm just gonna refinance through them and I hope that I get an interest rate of like 2.78 or 2.8 they are like low it's like you know hi tammy good to see you again um it's like driving around i feel like the gas prices are so low because they want us just to drive around aimlessly like with no place in mind because the gas is so cheap home loans are so inexpensive right now like it's like they're giving money away so it's like i'm really hoping for like 2.7 or 2.8 so keep your fingers crossed that I get a low interest rate. So, but back to this. So we are going to give away this card after we're done making cards tonight, a uh, card tonight. So let's get into it girls because I got some pressure washing to do. <laughs> so this is the Dino Roar Suite. It's on pages um, 99, 98, and 100 of the current annual catalog. And I'm happy to report that the stamp set and dies are being carried over, but the bundle is not. So if this interests you at all, you save 10% by buying the bundle. And hi, Julie, thanks for joining. Um, so there's the dies and the stamps that are carrying over. The designer series paper is not carrying over, but I brought it down here in case you're interested to see. They've got masculine and feminine kind of prints. So if you have boys or if you have girls, they've got like the greens, and then they've got the awesome animals here on the back, the, the dinosaurs. You can use the framelits to cut them out. There's these awesome eggs. And then there's this pink pattern paper. It's more girly girly. Hey, Angela. So it's got the pink dinosaurs. So if you have any little girls that you want to make cards for. Oh, this one's cool too because it has more of the pink dinosaurs going on and the pterodactyls. <laughs> so whenever there's a big bug flying around my house, I yell really loud, it's a pterodactyl, it's a pterodactyl, it's out to get you. <laughs> so, so there's different prints in here. Again, so that one's the same. Hi, Karen. Yes, the Dino set is a cute set. I think that might be all of them. Oh, there's some, some triangle patterns going on. There's the more blue for the boy with the yellow. All right, so that's the paper, the designer series paper. Then. There's also some denim ribbon. So the card that we're making tonight actually doesn't feature the denim ribbon, but this is, if I recall correctly, the denim ribbon is carrying over. Thank you for starting a watch party for the video, Angela. That is a good reminder. Char hasn't joined us quite yet, and Char is always the first one to share and like and comment. So girls, if you wouldn't mind sharing, I would love it. I looked and we're at like 498 followers and about 468 people who like cards by Christine, so that's exciting. Okay, so what I did use though is this crushed curry in the card. Uh, this is like a seam binding ribbon. So that's what I used in this card that we're gonna make tonight. So if we flip this over, you can see all the paper kind of spread out here, and then here's the stamp set. So, all right, so we're gonna make a cute Dino card tonight, and this is what the card looks like. It's kind of a simple layout. 
It's always fun to have a more simple layout. And you might be looking at it thinking that might not be simple. I guess our, our definitions of simple layouts are different probably, but this is to me a pretty simple layout. We have our regular whisper right inside mat and we've stamped Dino on here. So he's gonna go on the inside and the outside. And then we've got the colors Pretty Peacock, which is an in color that isn't retiring. It's carrying over and it's the eight and a half by five and a half. And let's get that piece of paper here. So this is our traditional mat. It's a half a sheet of paper. And what you'll do is line up your corners, get your bone folder. Rhonda still has the card and she has it slated for her grandson for next February when he can appreciate it. I love that. <laughs> awesome. So here we have folded that in half and we have our white piece and we have this piece right here. So we're gonna do some stamping and let's get that done. So, all right, we're gonna stamp these pieces. So while I'm getting my stuff ready, this is a uh, pool party actually. And the pool party is your traditional mat. It's uh, four inches by five and a quarter. This is like a brand new ink pad. I can feel like I don't think I've ever stamped on this. It's not even dirty. <laughs> okay, so this is old olive. Okay, and here's our stamp set. This is what's all in here. We've got the, tur I don't know all my dinosaur girls. I'll be honest with you. This is long neck. This is flying guy. This is spiky back and this is T-Rex. That I do know. So there you go. <laughs> all right, so we have our T-Rex is what we're gonna use. And so this T-Rex, you wanna make sure you get him evenly, hi Elaine, evenly inked up. So what I do when I have something like this, you you would want to make sure you don't have like little um, little glitters on him that leaves little spots where the ink is. And I don't know if you can see it, but what I was picking at just now was there's it's really hard to see, but there's a little dot right there, and it's actually above his tail. And I think you know what it is, girls. Oh my god, it's um, it's shimmer paint it's rose gold shimmer paint all over my block and that's what i'm seeing <laughs> so hey virginia okay you, you like my names rhonda okay i love it i just made them up on the spot so here i'm due i'm, I'm inking up my t-rex and we're gonna have this little scrap piece right here and you know don't try to stamp him straight what i did is i i grabbed a scrap of paper and i'm stamping him a little diagonal and that's okay because he is going to be die cut so what I'm gonna do is I'll cut off a little paper here because I can use this for something else if I desire. And then our inside, let's grab our inside here. So we have him here. So my thing when I stamp on my inside, I like it to match my outside. But sometimes it looks weird having the whole guy on here. Like, so if you would put him all on here, he would be like in the middle of your paper. So in this case, I don't mind personally cutting off part of his tail to make it look like he's walking onto the page. Hi, Wendy. So if you want his whole tail on, you would wanna stamp it over further, but I wanted it to look like he's kinda of like walking onto the page and I was okay with trimming off his poor little tail. <laughs> okay, so that guy's done. And that's the old olive. I believe that's all we need for old olive. So I'm gonna shut this up. Next, what we're gonna do is grab the crushed curry. So this is a stitched circle. It is one of my absolute favorite dyes in the whole wide world. It's the stitched shapes and it's got circles, ovals, and it has squares. It is already retired, but do not cry or fret because it is being reintroduced in the new catalog with a different set of numbers. So it's temporarily turned off but just know they will be back again when the day is new and we have more ideas for you. <laughs> Do you know where that's from, girls? <laughs> so, all right, so what we have going on here with our crushed curry is we have some stones and then we have some sponging. So let's open up our ink pad and then the little stones come from the Dino Days set. And what I have going on here are, it's like he's walking up like a, a what, a stone pebble path? <laughs> So this is, I'm gonna do a few here, and I'm gonna go right there, and some right there. So one more little guy right there. So there's that, and then I'm also gonna put some on the inside to make it look like he's walking down his little stone path here, all right? But we're not quite done with the crushed curry. 
So if you left this like this, it like just is like a solid white circle. And I like to soften the edges of paper sometimes with color. So you can see I've got yellow all the way around here. I've got that crushed curry going on. So grab out one of your Stampin' sponges and don't worry. This is clean. <laughs> I was a bad stamper and I let this sit too long. And then when I went to wash it, it had permanently stained my sponge. But do not fret. I promise you, you will not get any red <laughs> residue <laughs> on the circle. It will give us just the, the crushed curry. And then that makes me feel like I wasn't such a bad naughty stamper, not cleaning out my sponges. So, but you see what happens. This is a great technique to soften the edges of paper. So if you're thinking, wow, this white is sticking out and it's very stark, just you can soften the edges by sponging. And I find in class, sometimes people put their image down and they blot it. And it just, to me, I don't have a lot of control over it. So I do like to hold it and I go crossway, like up and down with the sponge and I sponge the edges that way. You have to be very careful with the sponge because depending on how old your sponge is, your sponge may leave little happy trails and they're not really happy. They're actually sad because that little bit of sponge has coloring on it. So if you get that onto your project, you might end up getting smears on it where you don't want them. So just be careful when you sponge, not to sponge over the top of your project, but onto a work area where you can kind of brush it off onto the floor like I just did. <laughs> so, okay. So there, we've got that ready to go. Now, if you look at here, we've got a little set, a little sentiment at the top here. It says, I love you this much. It's more than it looks. <laughs> and that is the perfect saying for T-Rex because he has those, those short little arms. Tyler just laughed his butt off when I showed him this card. So let's find our sentiment here. I have a scrap of Whisper White Girls. Where do you see it? Right here. Okay, let's pull this. So I, um, what I do here is I have it's five eighths and it's just a long strip. And what I plan to do is just stamp it closer to the end here and then just use my paper snips to trim it. So I'm just going to ink this up and this ink color is called Pretty Peacock. It is a gorgeous blue color. And oops, so I've got a little spot there. So just flip over the paper. And because this is photopolymer, you're gonna have the ability to look right through this. How many of you girls have the Dino Days stamp set? I know Rhonda, I'm pretty sure you have it. Elaine, I wanna guess you have it too. So there we go, perfect, love it, love it. Doing good, how are you girls doing? Okay, so here's the thing with your ink pads. This is not quite shut. You wanna hear it snap shut and then you know it's shut. So I could see that it wasn't shut. So just be careful when you're using your ink pads at home that you make sure they shut up good. So grab your scissors and you're just gonna get it lined up, shut your eyes and snip. <laughs> just kidding, you don't wanna shut your eyes. <laughs> that's, how, that's how some people, they, they like get it all lined up, shut your eyes and go. Okay, so that's ready for us. Then we have this little crushed curry piece. This crushed curry piece is, let's see here. Ooh, um. I'm gonna guess it's three quarters of an inch. Oh, look at this. I have my ruler, my handy dandy ruler. I left it right by here. In case you're wondering, this is three quarters of an inch wide and you can see it's banner end. So there are tricks for doing the banners. You can use your snips and do it or you can use the triple banner punch. And I love using the trip. Oh, Peggy has it too, very cool. So you have to be careful. So even though this is a triple banner punch and the track is set at two inches, one and a half and one, this is only three quarters. So what you have to do is kind of hold it in place and get it lined up and then just double check to make sure you're still kind of in the center. Okay, and then we'll have that fly wherever it needs to. And then we're just gonna do a little bit more on this side here. So pull that in and then check to make sure, oh, I wasn't quite centered. And then flip it back over and there you go. Perfect, all right. So that's the triple banner punch. It is carrying over. So you will be able to get this in the new catalog as well if you don't have it quite yet. And I'll save this for something else. All right, girls, we have a piece of designer series paper here. This is one and three eighths by four inches, I'm pretty sure. So four by one and, um, yep, one and three eighths, that was right. Okay, so 
I don't know if you can tell it very well, but this is the pool party piece and it is embossed. I did it ahead of time. It's the favorite embossing folder of all time, my subtle embossing folder, girls. <laughs> if you watch me long enough, you will know that I use it probably on every other card or maybe it seems like that, but it's probably not, but it's close. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna adhere this onto the pool party piece. And I don't know if I have it quite centered. You know, I have this, so that's two. I have it a little bit higher than, so my equator's in the middle. So I have it a little bit higher than the equator. So where, oh my goodness, girls, I have to open up a new glue. I just used up, so look at this. Isn't this always an exciting thing to do? Oh my goodness, <laughs> opening up a brand new glue. It's like a virgin glue, girls. Oh my gosh, it's gonna come out so good. <laughs> oh my, and that sounded really bad. Sorry, I didn't mean it to sound that bad. So, <laughs> okay, well that was good for me. I hope it was good for you. So, we're gonna put this guy right on here and I'm gonna bring it down maybe to right about here. Now this is your opportunity to check it and make sure that your DSP isn't longer than your paper. And I'm gonna, because I'm using liquid glue, I can bring it down a little bit. Um, Jennifer doesn't have this yet. Oh, interesting. You might want to consider it. <laughs> it's a fun set. Okay, so grab your tear and tape, and we're going to flip some of that on the back here, and watch my trick for putting this ribbon on. So most people, maybe not most, but would wrap it all the way around and tie the knot. I find that hard to do, unless you have a buddy there that is able to hold a scissors down for you. So what I like to do is attach my end here and then without wasting anything, let's grab my ribbon scissors. I can just cut it off right there and I can flip that end over. Oh, Jennifer doesn't have the embossing folder. What? Girlfriend, you better get that. <laughs> you'll find that once you get it, you'll use it all the time because it really makes something like that looks plain. It makes it look a little bit more dressed up. All right, so I like to squish my ribbon in between uh, two tear and tape sections here. And then that's prepped, it's really good. It's gonna make a nice bond. Grab your liquid glue or your snail and just add a little bit more liquid glue to that. All right, let's flip that over and that will go on our front here, just like so. As long as I'm at it, I'm going to put some glue on my inner mat and we'll get that squared away. Are you girls doing okay? Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. I really appreciate it. The other thing too is don't forget if you need anything and you're not your own demonstrator or you don't have a demonstrator, here's my host code. I always have it here. It helps me to do these free classes for you, which I love to do. I love sharing my inspiration and craftiness with you, if that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> All right. Oh, girls, <laughs> this is my trick that I just didn't forget. I just forgot, almost forgot to tell you. Look at this. So do you see how the circle is cut like this? It's got a little bit cut off. Well, I didn't do that. But normally what I would have done is attached that and then cut it before I layered my pool party down. But this is what we're gonna do to fix this. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball um, on this side where it needs to go. So I'm gonna cut it off right about here. I'm gonna hold it against the edge of the paper, grab your snips, and you're gonna use the card base as a guide for cutting that off. So look at that, we just saved ourselves. So boom, see, nice straight edge with that. So I really had meant to adhere this to the pool party before I put the pool party down, but I got glue happy and that happens. No problem, we made it work. So, all right, now we can pull off the backs to our DSP. So Jennifer has some exciting news. Jennifer, you should write in the comment section about your paper pumpkin alternative um, blog hop that you do and tell people all about it. Jennifer's part of the um, the Paper Pumpkin Alternative blog hop group and I believe she said it just published. I saw the message right before I went live. So, all right, we're almost there, girls. So we've got, this is gonna go up towards the top here 
And we just have to tie a little ribbon. So let's get a little bit of ribbon prepped here. And all right, so, and we have to cut Dino out. So what I'm gonna do is get my banner here prepped with a few dimensionals. And so this is the card, the card we're making for tonight. This Dino card is gonna be my free prize or my gift for somebody for liking, commenting, and sharing. So that's there. And we're gonna grab a little bit of glue and adhere our little sentiment down. Now, if you like things straight, you can put it on here straight, but I've learned that it's okay to be a little crooked. <laughs> it's hard for me to do that, but trust me, if I can do it, so can you. And what do we have left here? Oh, we can tie this on here. So because I tied my tails to the back, I'm. it allows me to kind of wiggle my thread underneath here and tie this into a really tight knot. And because I've already put my circle on, now all I wanna do is just kind of center this guy. And as I'm pulling, I'm trying to pull my tails out left to right so my ends go that way. And then we'll just use your ribbon scissors to snip your tails. I hope that taught you a little easier way to, to tie a bow on to your card. Okay, now we just have Dino here. And I'm going to bring up the big shot. So give me a second so I don't have dominoes happening. I don't want my plate fell falling. So we're gonna go just like this. Let's see if I got a little room here. So these are the dies, girls. They're all the little shapes of our, our dinosaurs. Okay, Jennifer just posted, I think. So here's our little Dino. And we're gonna put him down on here. And the magnetic platform should allow the magnet to stick exactly where it is without moving. And I'm gonna trust it and not use any tape. And we're gonna run this through. And we should have our Dino all cut out nice then. So let me get this wound back here and set this down out of the way. Okay, so here's our Dino. Here's my favorite part. Popping, <laughs> popping this off and popping him out, yay. Okay, so we're gonna use a few of the dimensionals uh, behind Dino. And just because I want his tail to make sure it stays popped up, we're just gonna put a little guy right here. All right, so Jennifer says, oh, Christine, Paper Pumpkin official site. I have an alternative in the blog post. Scroll down to the alternatives. Thank you, yes. We gotta, Gotta support Jennifer. Okay, so let's pop him on here. So he's like walking through the circle. And last but not least, we are going to bedazzle this. So these are some of the Dino Roar enamel shapes. There were some triangles, there were some leaves, and there were some other leaves. So what I did on this card is I, because I did this for a class card, I tried to have people use either one set or the other set. So we're gonna put one of these guys off to the side here. And it makes it look like he's walking more on some leaves. And then we're gonna pop a little triangle on there. So yay! Well, there you go, girls. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> we got our Dino card made. Oh, he's so cute. So, do you like him? Does that make you wanna get a Dino set? <laughs> All right. Yay, we made a card on Monday, make a card Monday. So, wow, all right. Yes, thanks for posting about that, Jennifer. I, I know I saw your post come in right before, before I was ready to go live. So um, thanks for sharing that. And um, it's always fun to see other ideas. I am doing a paper pumpkin Facebook Live class this coming Thursday at six. And it is going to be going through the April's paper pumpkin with you just to see what the kit is and make the samples in the, the class. I think I, this, I, what I heard off of feedback after the last one is I don't have to make the whole thing, just make one of each <laughs> so, so that it's easier. So that's what we're going to do on Thursday. Tomorrow night is the swap showcase. So I'm going to pick all the cards off of this board and we're going to walk through them. And then I'll announce who won this card. 
And then on Wednesday and Friday, we'll make uh, some of the other cards that I have kits ready for. So, yay. Okay, Jean, I was just thinking about you. You should have your Everything is Rosy medley coming in very, very soon. I think either not tomorrow, but the next day. So that's awesome. So yay. Okay, well, let's look here. This is the card that I want to announce who won this. I'm so excited. Girls, this is the card we made a few Fridays ago where Swisher Studio stopped the videoing and then we had to come back and start the recording again. I think it was, um, they didn't like all the coloring I was doing or something. I'm just kidding. I don't know what it was, but all right. So the grand drum roll girls, drum roll, drum roll. And the winner of this one, Sue Wagner, you won this. So excited. I will pop this card in the mail for you soon, probably tomorrow or the next day. So that's exciting. And what else girls? I don't know. I don't know, but I think that was fun. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making a card with me on Monday and we will see you back here tomorrow night at six o'clock. We'll be going through some swap cards. Oh, I forgot to tell you girls, I crafted all day Saturday and I got all the cards made for our bingo. It's not really bingo, it's gonna be like bingo, but it's called um, a game night and card workshop set for May 21st. I got, oh my God, I'm so excited. The cards are so pretty and I can't wait to share them with you. Maybe on Wednesday, I'll share them with you. I also did all the painted poppies, product-based cards um, for that class is coming up and the monthly cards for May are done. So I got three great classes coming up for you in May. Super, super excited. So can you believe it's already the end of April? That month, it didn't fly by, but it seemed like now it flew by. <laughs> so awesome, girls. Well, I think that's it. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you liked the card. Thank you for joining me tonight, girls. I loved being with you. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your night and have lots of sunshine tomorrow. Peace, love, and happiness to you. Miss you. Love you. Bye.